I will be brief, for my short date of breath is not so long as is a tedious tale. Romeo, their dead, was husband to that Juliet, and she, their dead, that Romeo's faithful wife, I married them, and the stolen marriage day was Tybalt's doomsday, whose untimely demise banished a new-made bridegroom from the city, for whom and not for Tybalt, Juliet pined. You to remove that siege of grief from her, betrothed, and would have married her per force to County Paris. Then comes she to me, and with wild looks, but me devise some mean to rid her from the second marriage. Or in my cell, there she kill herself. Then gave I her, so tutored by my heart, a sleepy potion which so took effect as I intended, for it brought on her the form of death. Meantime, I wrote to Romeo, that he should hither come as this dire night, to help to take her from her borrowed grave, being the time the potion's force should cease. But he which bore my letter, Friar John, was stained by accident, and yesternight returned my letter back. Then all alone, at the prefixed hour of her waking, came I to take her from her kindred's vault, meaning to keep her closely at my side till I conveniently could send to Romeo, but when I came, some minute near the time of her awakening, here untimely lay the noble Paris, and true Romeo, dead. She wakes, and I entreated her come forth and bear this work of heaven with patience, but as it seems, did, did violence on herself. And if aught in this miscarried by my fault, let my old life be sacrificed some hour before his time unto a rigor of severest law 